Uh, hey guys, it's Aloha Mongoose here. Today I'm talking with um, It's Chappy, or as known as uh, Desperado FM on YouTube. Shout out to him. Really cool guy. I've been doing business with him for a while. He just became a really cool friend, all that stuff. Uh, I'm happy that he supports me and all that stuff, and I'm happy to help him out and anything he needs and all that. But yeah, we're just all I'm talking to. Okay, I, I'm here just to give him, give Chappie something. Um, a while ago, he did got scammed from a scammer that scammed me. Um, kind of feel bad for that. Not the main reason why I'm giving him something, but he needed help getting it, and uh, so I just got it for him, so he doesn't need to worry about it. All that stuff and it was small cash though to pay for this car so yeah I'm gonna just go give it to him right now get out of the way because longer it sits in my garage I'm gonna start messing with it not race it but just start maxing everything out you guys notice I do have a lot of cars in here and I'm gonna start doing giveaways pretty soon I just don't know when um, and how to do it because a lot of people do raffles and all that stuff, but basically how I see giveaways is like People that want subscribers and followers. It's just I see it as an unnatural way on getting them You know, you don't know if they're gonna be true to your posts to your uploads or they want you for you They like they they followed you or subscribed to you for being you you know what I'm saying like you don't know, maybe they just subscribed you so they can do the giveaway for that free car and all that stuff. I mean, you're doing something right. You're doing, it means something to give a car and give back to the community and all that stuff. But also, like, if you're asking people to subscribe to you, like, what is that showing? Like, you're just hungry for subscribers and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's how I feel of, feel of it. That's why I don't really care for doing giveaways. Ah. So fucking sly, you got in the way, dude. <laughs> Shout out to him. He's a he's a cool guy too. And like, oh my god, my phone's trolling me right now. There you go. All right. Um, hold on a second. I just gotta grab my charger. Uh, there it is. They should make like a Wi-Fi charger where you connect to it like in a be a Wi-Fi kind of thing so it's not a wire thing you just plug it in and then it just sends a thing to your phone but that could cause some kind of radiation so I don't know I just hate wires no problem see I'm really cool with him and all that stuff I gave him like an uh, NSX um, RR gave him this He's gonna, he's gonna help me, he said he's gonna help me find a Sylvia and all that stuff. Uh, he could take his time on it. For some reason, those cars are kind of hard to find, and when pe when you do find it, it's really expensive, like about 35, 40 bucks. So, yeah. It's a nice car, though. Anyways, yeah, man. So, I want to do that giveaway real quick, but, um, I just, like, if you look at my garage right now, scroll through everything everything that i have this is not this is just the beginning part of it like i just have so much crap and i like three quarters of my garage i don't even use the other one quarter of it are like cars that i use for racing pinking and uh i'm trying to tune it but they're just crappy ass tunes i'm not using any tune books or anything that i know online um there's a couple people that suggest tunes for me and i do give a I do give it a look and all that stuff because like as much as I want to I want to make more videos and not on the same car over and over and over again all that stuff like I want to turf with this car get it all set up I mean I did the all-wheel drive a uh, uh, turf that just came up and I just couldn't get this to work man it's just too slow and for some reason it's a little bit too heavy and with RWBs going around it's just just can't keep up um there's other cars too that I'm working on. There's an all motor car that I'm working on. Honestly, they should do more all motor events. 
Because everyone goes for the turbo and supercharger and all that stuff. But not a lot of all motor events. I think I've seen it once or twice. But they should do something like that. I, I would really look forward into doing something like that. And it won't be just about maxing up your car. It will be just about having the right tune for your car. Because you can't max it out <laughs> if your car is all motor. I mean, what gives you mostly all the ratings is the conversions. Oh, where's that car I'm trying to work on here? And there it is right here. I did buy it with the mate paint, but I took it off and I when I took it off I saw that there were stickers on it. I was like, hey, this is kinda cool. Why would you hide it, you know? And it really matches with the with these uh WWE um crate rims. So yeah, I'm trying to work this out. And this is an all-motor car too. I don't think I'm gonna put in nitrous supercharger or turbo. I'm just gonna keep it clean that way. All natural baby. All motor. Um, yeah, there's other cars I'm working on, like, uh, trying to get my dots in, my 1630 dots in, not this one. Uh, it says 1533.8, but it goes about 12.0 something something seconds, it was the fastest time. Uh, I'm also trying to work on this, it's, it's going like 12.2, 12.1 trying to get it to 11.9 but the only way i can see that happening if if i make it go up a rating which i don't want to want to make it a really fast 1630 lobby car it seems to strive um work better in a 1630 lobby um other things i'm working on but yeah as you see oh my god a lot of cars a lot of wwe crate cars you know I'm not gonna use any of these mostly. I, I'm probably gonna max one out and that is it. Or I'm gonna buy one max and then all these cars that I collected will be just like, yeah, let's get rid of it. But I'm probably not gonna sell it until the crates go out, go out of order and all that stuff, you know, go back to the vaults cause then the prices will raise up and I can start making my money back from all these crates I've been collecting. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing that, selling, or even trading it, and whatever. I will, um, add some additional things to it, maybe some rims and whatever. But I won't try to mess around with the car, I'll keep it clean, so it's a good car to start off with. Uh, what else is there? Uh, a lot of, a lot of things has been happening, as you guys can see, a lot of people ask, how do I get my garage this huge? Is another question, um, brown cars are the cars that I want in pinks. I color code them. Um, of course, with the WWE, um, crates being so low, I've been collecting a lot of those cars. I've been donated a couple. Shout out to my friend, um, John, or as known as Sinister Solution on the game. Uh, he donated me this Honda NSX R, um, RR. Really cool. Um, I am tuning it up a bit, but... I just, I want to make it a budget rather than a max. Because I already have a max one on my other account. But anyways, I, I had a lot of dona other donations. So shout outs to them and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of cars. And I just need to start getting rid of them. Um, but thing is, it's like, I, I really have a hard time trusting people. Just from the times, like a lot of, I've been scammed a lot. So I've been trying to keep that down to a minimum reason why I'm so strict on stuff and another reason why people try to come and ask me for trades I don't respond or say no deal and all that stuff even though if you say oh I'll go first and all all that you know but like I said just like if you watch my um how to avoid scammers video I follow that video like a hundred percent if not it's there's a little bit more I didn't say but reason why I didn't put it in the videos because I can't confirm it yet but so far it's been working now and I'll tell you guys that later I will be doing an update video I should be getting on another informational video since that video hit a thousand views and all that good stuff now, the reason I decided to make a video is because I noticed I'm at 900 something subscribers and I'm almost to a thousand I'm gonna be making a thousand subscriber update and it's gonna be more about my um my channel about what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be doing on my account, what I'm going to be um, trading, what I'm going to be selling and all that. I just want to get things figured out um, before I hit a thousand subscribers and start getting things rolling again. And it's been a while because it's been a week since I made my last video. So only reason is why is because of work and all that stuff. But that's about it. I have nothing else to say after that.
Uh, since we're here, let's do one race, and I'm gonna confirm that my 1630 Datsun can go 12.0. I don't know. I love messing with the Datsun. It's one of my favorite cars. Anyone that calls this car shit, uh, I will never do business with you or like you. And I would wish that you would be vanished off this planet. <laughs> This is my favorite, dude. It's my favorite car. I'm not even joking. The Datsun 510. Cause it's only reason why is because it's the first car I ever figured out. All these other cars here is like, I'm still trying to figure it out and and all that stuff. So it's like the first fine-tuned car I tuned card I made. Reason why I like it so much. So, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of harsh, but come on, man. There's a lot of people that just treat this car like crap, but I believe in max tunes being fast, but I believe there's sweet spots and ratings for like each car. Maybe you don't need to max it out to be good. Maybe you can put it into a certain rating lobby and it'll be really good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right, let's get this. Come on. This car's not kicking in. There you go. That's what we got to get there. And that's a 12.1 or 12.2 run. Not the best run. I didn't hit a perfect launch, so. And I wasn't off the light. And my volume is off, so how am I supposed to hear this engine roar? And my laundry. All my folds from my laundry went down. So now I got to refold them again. Yeah, let me just do a good run with this. I don't know why. You guys probably like, oh, why? Lot of Murphy. Why this car out of all the other cars in the garage? Hey, shut up. Vanish. <laughs> vanish. I demand you to vanish. Yeah, I'm racing on Mazda. Ah, I can't get it to go. And I can't even get my reaction time on. One more, one more, one more. One more, uno mas. Once I get a perfect launch on this thing, it, it goes the way it's supposed to. It goes second light at the end of the beat. Probably 12.1. Oh my goodness, I, I give up. <laughs> but even that's what that's without a perfect launch. So we already know that car can hit 12.0. If you don't believe me, I'll make a video on it. Don't worry. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna. It's probably a long video because I talk a lot and I have an attention disorder, so I tend to go off topic and all that stuff. But I'm gonna end this video right now. Alright guys, aloha, see you next video, thanks for subscribing and all that stuff, if you haven't, you guys are missing out. Alright guys, see ya, vanishing, I'm vanishing, my turn to vanish.